Live from your station for breaking news, this is CBS 21 News at 6. Good evening. We're following a number of breaking stories tonight. I'm Rob Hanrahan. And I'm Tanya Foster. First, though, let's get your weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Russell. Tom. And the big weather story is 95 was our high today. It's, I'll show it to you with a seven-day forecast in just minutes, guys. All right, Tom, breaking news tonight out of Adams County to start us off. Police are combing a wooded area in Fairfield Township looking for a bank robbery suspect. That's right. U.S. Marshals are now focusing their search near Amvitz Road. Here's a map on your screen. The robbery, though, happened at the PNC Bank in Gettysburg. CBS 21, Samika Knight joins us live on the scene. And Samika, we talked to you about 15 minutes ago live. Any new developments so far? Well, the newest developments are that we still we're still seeing police pour in and out of the scene. They're coming back and forth along this road here. This is Route 6, uh, 116. They have a large portion of this road blocked off. In fact, from this uh, very area right here all the way down about five miles, they have this road blocked off. This is an intense search, and I'll tell you why. State police say this suspect is armed and believed to be very dangerous. He's believed to be in the Fairfield Township area. Uh, and again, they have this area blocked off. They have police coming through. They've also had uh, helicopters combing this area. Uh, this all started around noon today when the suspect robbed a PNC bank in Gettysburg. Uh, we're told he then jumped in a car. Police have not confirmed whether or not that was a stolen car, but they say uh, that he drove a getaway car, then crashed it along Route 116 somewhere uh, in the Fairfield Township area. He was somehow able to get away, and now that search is is on and as you can tell again this is very intense they're stopping uh, cars at this point and allowing police and other uh, law enforcement vehicles in through this area uh, just to give you an idea of how intense this search is the u.s marshals are involved state police are involved gettysburg police other police agencies and also the adams county sheriff's department they are involved as well we will stay out here on the scene and bring you the latest developments as they become available with the adams county mobile newsroom in highland township samika knight CBS 21 News. And CBS 21 News following another breaking news story. This one out of Washington, D.C. The president has now signed a $26 billion piece of legislation to keep 300,000 teachers and other public workers on the job. That's right, and it's a bill CBS 21 News has been closely following for you. The House was called into a special session earlier today to get that bill passed and then get it to the president's desk for his signature. Lawmakers and the president work to get this done before school starts. Tonight, CBS 21 News has live team coverage breaking down this cash flow to show you exactly what this means for central Pennsylvania. Since $10 billion of that $26 billion bill is directed at schools, CBS 21 News wanted to hear from the U.S. Secretary of Education. We talked with him today, hear his thoughts on this. Also, Governor Rendell has been pushing to get this money passed. Many teachers' jobs were on the line as uh, this money is the final piece of the state budget that was passed just a few weeks ago. And finally tonight, the Harrisburg School District laid off 175 employees last night, but the passage of this money could be their ticket to get those jobs back. So we begin tonight with our interview with the U.S. Secretary of Education. Rob Hanrahan starts our team coverage tonight. And Rob, you actually broke the news to Arnie Duncan, talking to him earlier today. What was his reaction? Yeah, you know, Tanya, timing is everything. I was interviewing U.S. Education Secretary Arnie Duncan about it. And as we were talking, this was just before news time, the House passed the bill. So I was lucky to be the one to fill him in on what had happened in Washington. Here in PA, we've had so many questions about what money is going where, but Mr. Duncan assured me that our state will get the $380 million earmarked for education. Listen to his guarantee. And do the right thing for education S across the country. Secretary Duncan, I hate to interrupt you, but I've just been told that that bill did just pass the House, just within the past minute or so. Well, that is, pheno that is phenomenal news. We are very, very hopeful it would. And now that it's passed the House, uh, we, we, the president will sign it later today. And so this so thing is going to move very, very quickly. Do you believe Pennsylvania can count on this $380 million now? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is a, a huge, huge dividend, a huge opportunity for the state. A major development here during our interview. Thank you very much to the U.S. Education Secretary, Arne Duncan, talking to us about this crucial House bill. Secretary Duncan, thank you very much. And so there you hear it, the U.S. Education Secretary reacting with a bit of surprise at the speed 
at which the House passed the measure. The president did indeed sign it a short time later. Duncan says things could now be changing for our educators. Students and schools could see changes as soon as tomorrow. He says the Education Department will immediately begin working with Governor Rendell and the state education system to get that money moving. Tanya. Well, hopefully it is moving fast, and this comes as a big relief to members of the Pennsylvania State Education Association. But it's focused on where lawmakers will shave money from this year's budget to make up for the federal Medicaid shortfall. CBS 21's Andy McCormick joins us live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg with more on our team coverage tonight. Annie, not a complete sigh of relief for educators across the state, but a start, right? Yeah, definitely a start, Tanya. Morning, we are also hoping to hear what some of those possible solutions could be. We're live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg. Annie McCormick, CBS 21 News. All right, Annie, thank you. Like many districts, Harrisburg started to plan ahead and announced layoffs and furloughs at last night's meeting, putting 175 yeah. jobs in jeopardy. Caused a lot of worry, but that may all have to be reversed once the federal money starts streaming into Pennsylvania. Our team coverage continues tonight. CBS 21's Ben Russell, live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg. And Ben, could the FMAP money save the teacher jobs here in the capital city? Live with the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg, Ben Russell, CBS 21 News. And you can count on us to stay on top of that story for you. And CBS 21 News is following a breaking story for you tonight out of Lancaster County. That's right, the search is on for a missing man. Jenny Joyce is live on the scene with the very latest. Plus. What do baseball players and actors have in common? Well, today they both had to spend a lot of time outdoors. How they're coping with the high temperatures coming up. And how about some relief from that heat? We'll talk about that in your first morning forecast coming up. You're watching CBS 21 News at 6, your station for breaking news. Thank you, Harrisburg, for watching CBS 21 News at 6, your station for breaking news. We've got a busy news day, another breaking story we're closely following for you out of Lancaster County. Crews are searching for a man said to have emotional problems. This is happening in Marietta. CBS 21's Jenny Joyce is live with the Lancaster County Mobile Newsroom in Marietta. And Jenny, what can you tell us so far about what's happening there? Hi, Rob. Well, according to Susquehanna Regional Police, this person is 53-year-old Jay Beeston of Marietta. We are told that he walked out of his Marietta home around 11 o'clock this morning. He took with him pills and he threatened to commit suicide. His wife then called police and the search began. Police tell us that they went first around the Susquehanna River. They contacted family members and they also checked nearby pubs, but they didn't get anywhere. So around 3 o'clock this afternoon, the search intensified. We are told that they brought in canine units, about four fire departments, rescue boats, and they brought in a helicopter from Maryland State Police, which had infrared technology to pick up on body heat. We're told that that chopper found nothing and was sent back to Maryland. There are still several crews out there looking for 53-year-old Jay Beeston. We will continue to keep you updated. We do know that he is about 5'11", weighing about 350 pounds. He was last seen wearing a gray shirt, green pants, a brown hat, his wife has described him over the last few days as being edgy. We're told that he just got out of the hospital yesterday. He has heart conditions. We are live with the Lancaster County Mobile Newsroom in Marietta. Jenny Joyce, CBS 21 News. All right, Jenny, thanks a lot. Well, uh, many of us uh, have been scrambling today if we're outside just to stay cool. Yeah, the heat has been just incredible. And for some, uh, staying out in the heat is something you kind of have to do. No CBS, option. Right, no option at all. CBS 21's Erica Moffitt joins us live tonight. And Erica, we're talking about baseball players in, uh, in this story. What can they do to avoid the heat? I'm sure it's tough. Well, there's a few things. As obviously, Tanya, they don't have a lot of choices. And in less than an hour, the Harrisburg Senators will take the field. And that's only after an afternoon practice that was hot, hot, hot. At the Dauphin County Mobile Newsroom in Harrisburg, Erica Moffitt, CBS 21 News. All right, thanks, Erica. Well, federal workers see some pretty big paychecks. Yeah, they certainly do. Coming up on CBS 21 News at 6, how their wages compare to yours, the average worker. We're going to hear from the experts next. CBS 21 News, your station for breaking news. And we're on a, this breaking news story out of Adams County. CBS 21 News has been told that U.S. Marshals have their man. That's right. The search for a bank robber in Adams County ended about just minutes ago. CBS 21's Samika Knight on the scene for us. She joins us live with the very latest. Samika, what can you tell us? 
Yeah, well, police, U.S. Marshals and other law enforcement officials caught that bank robbery suspect, as you said, just minutes ago. Uh, police have not released any further details. We're expected to head to a press conference to uh, get those details in a few minutes. But authorities have been searching for that suspect for the past few hours. They've been searching by foot, by car, even by helicopter. This all started when police say the suspect robbed the PNC Bank in Gettysburg and then took off in a car and crashed it along Route 116, which is uh, this, this portion here. Uh, this portion of the road has been blocked off for several hours. Uh, this is 116 in Fairfield Township. Again, police caught the suspect just minutes ago. State police are holding a press conference in just a few minutes. We will head to that press conference and bring you the latest details tonight on CBS 21 News Live at 11. That's with the Adams County Mobile Newsroom in Highland Township. Samika Knight, CBS 21 News. And now, CBS 21 News First Warning Weather with Chief Meteorologist Tom Russell. We finally see a little bit of relief on the map nice. there. I'm looking forward to it. Who would have thought you'd look forward to a cloudy day? And now 80. And 80. 80. <laughs> yeah. Now we do. That All right, nice. Tom, thank you. Well, tonight on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric, we're going to take a look at how much federal workers make compared to what you make. Yeah, and the experts spoke to Katie Couric from CBS 21 News about how federal jobs pay, uh, job pays compares to Wall Street and the oil industry. But I think it's interesting when you look at the new data that if you look at the federal civilian pay and benefits compared to other industries, it's right up there at the top. It's number five out of 72 industries uh, that the Bureau of Economic, Economic Analysis just looked at. And for more on that story, uh, you can see it on the CBS Evening News with Katie Couric right after CBS 21 News at 6. Get more bang for your buck with CBS 21 News and PARewards.com. That's right. This hour's keyword is progress, maybe progress, however you would like to pronounce it. Just log on to PARewards.com, <laughs> register, and enter this word in for points. If you're in my neighborhood, it's progress. Absolutely, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> well, he was once a World Series hero for the Yankees. And now you can see him at Metro Bank Park in Harrisburg. Jason Bristol is in that Twist Sports. And here's a look at where the stock market ended the day today. We'll be right back. CBS 21 News, your station for breaking news. And now, CBS 21 Sports with Jason Bristow. O'Neill says he has a new nickname. Might want to be called the Big Shamrock. Shack Boston is Harris. likely the last stop tie. in his Wearing NBA career. He plays somewhere I'll different every year. He yeah, does. He does. Hey, you know, that kind of money, why not? And his bow tie looks so little. He's such yeah. a big guy, right? Exactly. He's just a little Irishman. <laughs> <He's> a little <laughs> bow tie. <laughs> <laughs> hot top. That just doesn't seem right. Really hot tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, does, does. Low 90s tomorrow. And then we're finally going to cool things down starting Thursday with some showers and storms. Much cooler on Friday. The high only around 80, but the trade off will be some clouds and some drizzle, but nobody complaining. You Sneak in that accent whenever you, you can. Right? Hey, <laughs> that does it for CBS 21 News at 6. The CBS Evening News with Katie Couric is coming up next. And we'll see you tonight for CBS 21 News live at 11. Until then, good night. Let us know your opinion of CBS 21 News. Call 525-6360 or email us at mythoughts at cbs21.com.